welcome back guys thanks for tuning in another week for csec social studies sd tutor lessons now we are at presentation of data we will be calculating we will be tallying our data so that we can make graphs now you should have three graphs i will suggest a pie chart a bar graph and a table but your graph is depending on the questions that you will be using to present your data now those questions should be taken from your variables so based on the questions that you have already created for your questionnaire you are going to choose the best three questions based on your variable and present it into a graph or a diagram form all right now this section is very important it is six marks and you need to do this section in order for you to do the analysis of data now before we go any further i want to say congratulations to tony and cummins for winning the last competition we had in this series and guys thank you so much we are at one hundred subscribers and more and we're on the road to 200 and i appreciate you so much now um if you want to be featured in one of the videos please leave a comment below and i'll tell you how you can do so so you want to be featured in one of these videos no problem i'll tell you how if you are a minor you have to get the consent of your parents by either asking your parents to send me an email giving you consent to participate or you can have your parents in the video giving you content to participate all right so if you want to be in the next video comment down below leave your email address and i'll contact you with the instruction on how you can be the next video all right so then um we are at presentation of data i am going to be inserting a clip here on how i have demonstrated for you how to tally your data and then I am going to be doing another part B of this series to show you how to turn that tallied information into graphs or diagrams, all right? So we are almost through, guys. We're almost there and the exam is next year. So we are on our way. I want everybody to get a very good grade on their SBA. So stay tuned, ask any question you have below and I'll do my best to answer you. And have a good one. Stay safe all the time. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, this is a demonstration on how to tally your data before creating your your graphs so some persons are a little bit confused as to what to do after you have gathered your data and know that you are at presentation of data there's a lot of technicalities that will take place number one you're going to have to know how to tally your data and include it into a blank questionnaire for future use so take for instance um this person look at the overuse of alcohol consumption among among teens and um the person start by asking the participants their gender and their age um, which is important for this research um for males as you recognize 20 males participated in the research and 10 females what you're going to do your questionnaire will be blank you're going to type in that figure so you're going to right click you're going to right click on the box and look for the options that says add text now this box does not have the option add text because it was already selected but in a fresh box if you go to um the option that says insert and you insert a box you will have to add the text to it so that is it after you have add all the box that you'll need and you have completed your questionnaire then you're going to have to tally the information tell me how many persons selected male how many persons selected female how many persons stick um their age group now this is very important i always say to my students that i know of students who cook up information that's what we call them 
that's what we call it you cook up information so you decide that you're going to make your life easier so you answer the questionnaires yourself and so on which is going to put you in a lot of trouble and i hope nobody out there is doing that um so when you have tallied all of the information all of the participants for each questions you're so for each question you're supposed to get a total of 30 or you're supposed to get the total as to the amount of questionnaire you got back so if you gave out 30 and you only got back say 25 then the tally that you have done within the box or within the boxes should show 25 participants that is how we know that you did not do anything and you cook up information some person this stretch have 20 this stretch of 25 this stretch of 30 when you are when you have completed and you have collected all your questionnaires if you count and you realize that 30 persons answered the questionnaires correctly honestly all of the questions were properly done i mean maybe you would have to disregard some questionnaire if it was not done properly but for the ones that you'll be using and you you um tally them you should tap them into the box this will go in your appendix or your append appendices um after you have done that you might want to know what percentage of individuals said um something because it is a percentage that you'll use in your presentation of data i see persons do presentation of data and in the presentation of data they use numbers we are asking you to use um percentages to show um the information or to show the the the, the data um 1500 persons 15 persons participated and answered one of your question you want to find a percentage it's simple type in the number 15 type it times it by 100 and divide it by the total participant but i short and they do most of mine so it is 1500 divided by 30 and it gives you the same figure it gives you 50 percent indicating that their age is 18 and over and you're going to say nine times 100 and you're going to divide that by the total amount of persons who participated in the research and we got 30 percent so that is